All right, so we're checking out some new Express LRS receivers from Radio Master. This is the XR1, the XR2, and the XR4. There's also the XR3, which is going to be coming out all at the same time in January 2025. I don't have that one. I will put a photo up of what it looks like here, and I'll talk about that in a second in terms of what's different between uh, these four new receivers. Now, the bottom line for these is that these come with the new LR1121 chipsets, which is uh, basically it's, it's the evolution of Express LRS. Uh, previously, the chipsets for 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz were different. They basically, you need, basically you need uh, they're hardware dependent. So if you wanted a 2.4 gigahertz receiver, you had to get the chipset for that frequency and vice versa for 900 megahertz you need a different chipset and a different hardware for that frequency now what the lr1121 chip does it combines that into one set of hardware and these receivers are capable of either 2.4 gigahertz or 900 megahertz it just depends on the antenna you use and we'll talk about that here in a second the one exception is the XR2 receiver, which does 2.4 gigahertz only, and I actually already installed it, so I will put a photo of what that looks like here. It looks like your um, old school ceramic tower antenna receiver. Um, I'll put the size up here up on the screen. It's a little bit smaller than the XR1, which is dual band. Now, theoretically, you could remove the tower antenna and use a 900 megahertz antenna instead and it probably should work yeah i'm not 100 percent sure about that so you might want to contact radio master and ask them about that i'm sure people will probably try and modify it uh, obviously if you want to put a 900 megahertz antenna on the xr2 just get the xr1 this is what it looks like it comes with the micro fl connector and it does come with well at least the one they sent me comes with this dual band antenna which basically as you can see you have the 2.4 gigahertz antenna and the 900 megahertz antenna all kind of bundled together here when you go to the website and, and purchase these you can have the option of getting either the dual band antenna or one of the other two antennas which is going to be basically here's the 900 megahertz antenna here and the 2.4 gigahertz antenna so you have to choose which antenna you want Obviously, for best performance, if you know you're going to be sticking to 2.4, get the 2.4 gigahertz antenna. That'll give you the best performance. The, usually, on the dual band antennas, you do have a little bit of sort of a losses because you're on a, a dual band antenna. I don't know what the extent of the losses are. I just know that there are, it's not as optimal as going with the antenna for that specific frequency. Of course, if you're going for the dual band um, option, if, for example, if you're using with uh, the new uh, the GX12 radio that Radio Master just put out and made, made a video on that one recently, then yeah, you want to get the dual band antenna. So here is what the receiver looks like. And I'll put the dimensions here up on the screen and the weight. I think it's about a gram. It's got the micro FL connector here. So you can see here, this is the LR1121 chipset here. You got your pads for your York for connecting to your flight controller, standard RXTX. 5 volts and ground, get your bind button there, LED, and this is a, I think a standard micro, micro, micro FL connector. And over here on this side is the uh, ESP32 chip, that's obviously where the former is going to live. And you have uh, this uh, extra UART here for TX2 and RX2, this is for exp uh, future expandability, for other types of options uh, that I guess we won't find out until later, until 2025, this is obviously stuff still in development. And basically the XR2 receiver is the same as the XR1, except it's a little bit smaller and has a little tower antenna here and no micro FL connector. And of course that one is limited to 2.4 gigahertz and won't do dual band. Now the XR3 is I think the same size as the XR1 and basically it's got a single LR1121 chip, but it has an additional micro FL connector on here in the corner. So you can have two dual band antennas and it's antenna diversity, it's not uh, true diversity. And that's the, that's uh, kind of the reason why I guess they didn't send it. I, I'm, maybe it's not available yet. But if you want that version, then if you want basically the single chipset with two antennas for dual, um, for antenna diversity, then that's the LR3, that, or the uh, XR3, that's the one you should be getting. And just of course, uh, you can see here that all the receivers will come with the standard set of heat shrink here and also the wires for connecting to your flight controller. 
Now, of course, if you want to take advantage of Gemini X, which is what the uh, GX12 radio can do, basically uh, dual band and dual receiver, this has the full, basically the full beans here. This is everything. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen as well. The dimensions, but you have basically you have two LR1121 chips for two receivers basically, and you have two antennas. And again, in this case, they sent the two dual band antennas. Uh, you have, and again, for all of these, you can select what antenna you want. Uh, it just depends on what your goals are and your what your use case is. And this does have the ESP32 chip in the back as well. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones. I think it's because of the uh, the dual diversity functionality. And this also has the extra UART there for future expandability. There, the RX2 and TX2. So pretty nice receiver. Obviously, this is only got two antenna connections compared to the previous receiver that I showed you earlier with the Nomad review. That was the DBR4. That's a much bigger receiver uh, with four antenna connections, uh, one for each. Basically, it's dedicated for each of the 2.4 and 900 megahertz frequencies. So you have basically two 2.4 and two 900 megahertz uh, antenna connections on that receiver. So that's the Basically, if you want the maximum optimal uh, setup for Gemini X, that's the receiver to get. This is sort of a, a little bit lighter, smaller version of that. You know, obviously a little bit of a compromiser because you only have two antennas that are dual band instead of four separate antennas. All right, so I'll put up here on the screen the frequency chart for each of these four receivers. And as you can see, which ones they will cover. Um, basically, it's a summary of what I just talked about in terms of what uh, bands each of the two or each of the four receivers covers and with this new chipset uh, there's going to be different modes that are going to be covered for uh, this receiver and for different transmitters so this chart here covers that with the new LR1121 chipset you have these new FSK modes but you, you no longer have the FLRC modes from the uh, SX series so some of the low latency D modes are that were part of LoRa are don't exist in this subset or in this particular chipset, but uh, they're going to be reproduced in, in a different way. So these FSK modes are also low latency, and I'm told that in the future, coming in 2025, these are probably going to get expanded and changed overall. So you're going to probably have to monitor the Express LRS website for future details on what modes are going to be supported going forward, but this is what is currently available as of December 2024. So I just want to show you really quickly on the website. Obviously everything now is in pre-order, but in terms of pricing, the, uh, the, the XR4 is going to be $20, pretty reasonable for what you get there. And then the XR2 is the lowest cost one. That's the one with the ceramic antenna. That's $9.99. And then if you go into here in the XR1, and you'll see what I was talking about here. You can see a photo of that, and you can you have, to, you have to choose the antenna type that you're going to want sent with the receiver. And you can, of course, change the antenna at any point if you want, if you're going to be switching from 2.4 or 900 megahertz. And, of course, you can purchase those antennas separately. So keep that in mind, and it looks like the prices are the same, $11.99 for that receiver. Yeah, so that should cover for this video. Um, these aren't going to be coming out until towards the end of January 2025. And of course, things might be changing. So check the product pages for any updates on uh, things that are being supported and not supported. And also the Express LRS website. All the details are going to be over there. Currently, um, as the time of the recording of this video, uh, a lot of this information isn't even on the Express LRS website. So I can't show it to you. But, you know. Rest assured, the, the Express LRS dev team is very good at updating their website, so that is going to be the best source of information. And again, I will link that down in the video description in case you don't know where to find that. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. Links to all the receivers will be down in the video description, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.